guys, welcome back to the channel. I uh, just wanted to do a quick video on fitting a CD09 gearbox uh, here. It's out of a 350Z, or can get it out of 370Z, but I think it's a different model, slightly different. I uh, don't know much about it, if I'm honest. So, just wanted to do a quick video just to show you what you need to do or spend uh, to get CD09 onto NSR20. So, um, obviously these are quite expensive now, quite, quite hard to buy, um, but you have to buy the relocation kit for the um, gear lever. So I fitted that this morning. Um, that wasn't too bad to fit, to be honest. There's a nice video, GK Tech do a nice video showing how, how to fit that in a step-by-step -step process. So fair play to them. So um, what you have to buy is that is the original um, flywheel. It's a lightning flywheel actually, it's not our original one. Off an S14, so this is a bent cam. Um, so when you fit the gearbox onto the engine, the clutch doesn't reach. So there's there's two ways around it. So the best way is to buy um, one of these from Driftworks. So it's a Driftworks Superfly uh, lightweight flywheel S15. Um, which gets rid of the dual mass on an S15 and as you can see it's, uh, it's thicker here which brings it further out which lets the um, bearing push the clutch in a lot easier but you also need uh, an adapter plate so this adapter plate was kindly uh, supplied to me by um, ProTuner and he gave me the advice to fit one of these so uh, thanks to Greg at ProTuner for that um, you can get these off his website, uh, so go and give it a visit, give it a look. That's uh, the clutch fitted up. Uh, now the advantage of the flywheel from Driftworks also is that um, an S14 clutch will still fit. So you can fit an S14 or an S15 clutch to it, so you don't have to buy a new clutch if you're converting from uh, standard uh, SR20 gearbox to, um, to this one, to the CD09. So, obviously, use your, uh, if you've got one of those, they're always handy to locate the uh, clutch, and uh, it'll bolt it up, so next thing, put the gearbox on. Well, as you can see, that was quite easy. So uh, now you'll notice I haven't put the starter in yet. So I am going to grind a little bit out of the original gearbox when I take it off again. The reason I've put it on for now is just to fit it into the car and to make sure the gear lever is in the right place and I don't have to do any more modifications before I go to spray. So that's the reason why I'm putting it on. It'll all come back off again in a minute. Um, so yeah, uh, really good fit from the uh, ProTuner adapter, really good fit, just go straight on uh, and obviously with the locator that you got for your clutch, if you've got one of those then it just pushes straight on. As you can see it was a one man job, no problem at all. So um, yeah, hope that helps, uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and uh, thanks for watching, bye bye.